pieces in my room. You're coming over, that's cool. I could use a little something to do. Go outside, take a little ride if you want to. Hello, I am about to head to dinner right now and tonight we're going to a restaurant called Adi Adi. This one is located in the East Village and I'm pretty excited for it because I think I saw either like a TikTok or an IG Reels on this and it looked super cute. They specialize in hue which is Korean raw seafood and it says on Resi that it's inspired by the port city of Busan known for its fresh seafood and comforting Korean dishes. So I'm very excited. All their reservations are usually booked up but we were able to get a dinner reservation today and we're going to be going with our two friends Bruce and Young so yeah let's see how good this restaurant is just finished doing my makeup today I'm gonna have a girls day with my friends Michelle and Janie and we're just gonna go to the Lower East Side and hang out there we're gonna get brunch at Dudley's and then I think we're just gonna check out some shops around the area and we also have dinner plans we made a reservation at this restaurant called Sam Sunny which is kind of like a modern Korean style restaurant and I've been wanting to try it for a while now we have a full course day plan today I hope we can last until dinner time but at least the weather looks beautiful I was kind of worried that it was gonna rain because I really wanted to wear my white skirt today But I think I'm gonna be safe. So I'm just gonna do my hair and get dressed. So this is the final outfit I'm so in love with this crochet top that I got from the Reformation outlet in California Not the little ribbon details. This has literally been my favorite skirt I love that it's kind of like a mid-rise and it comes all the way up to my ankles It's from Abercrombie and I was literally gonna buy it in black too, but they're all sold out And I got these new ballet flats from and other stories I actually ordered the flats in my true size a couple of weeks ago and it was way too big like one whole size too big and when I went to purchase a smaller one, they were all sold out of like every single size So I was pretty bummed when I checked the site last week They had one left in the smaller size. So I grabbed it right away and luckily they fit perfectly. All right, we're ready to head out
Bitch, that we ain't nine. They be in the group chat knowing that it ain't 100. Tell your ex man, brush up on his openers. Cause I'm in California trying to put you where the ocean is. Hit the text late like you just now opened it. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Oh, and I know you think you're still on the low. But I heard how you feel from everybody you know. Oh, you're just crazy. Yeah, you're trying to keep it crazy. Oh, mama. about to make myself a smoothie right now and I have been craving the Hailey Bieber smoothie ever since I've tried it from Erwan in California. If you guys haven't watched my YouTube shorts that I posted, I basically tried all the viral foods from there and rated everything. I'll link it up here if you missed it but the Hailey Bieber smoothie was actually really good. It was just very pricey and they actually have a lot of copycat recipes online so I'm just gonna try today to see how it is. I went to Whole Foods the other day to grab all the ingredients that I could get my hands on and the only things that I couldn't find were sea moss gel and hyaluronic acid but I have all the other ingredients so let's see how it turns out Wow, there was a recipe to make the strawberry glaze but I was too lazy and I had strawberry jam at home so I just replaced it with that. It's not as pretty but at least the coconut cream made it somewhat similar. It's definitely going to be my new go-to smoothie. I love the hint of coconut you get from the cream and it is pretty sweet but you can always adjust the amount of maple syrup that you put in here. But overall, I'm pretty impressed so I would highly recommend this recipe. This is really good. 